What's up guys, JP here with Mason Dixon Diggers and I'm out here with my friend Chris who has invited me out here on his permission in Virginia and uh, he's come out here one other time and found a bunch of Civil War relics so we're going to come out here today on a hot day, it's supposed to be 95 degrees. Uh, thank God we're uh, under a lot of uh, a canopy here of trees so Hopefully we'll find some relics, stick with us, and see what we come up with. All right, guys, first signal, and it hasn't been that long. Only been here for about, uh, I don't know, not even two minutes. I walked three feet from where I did the initial video, and check it out. Fired. Fired three ringer. So stick with us. This is definitely going to be a good area. All right, guys, I just dug that hole, found that uh, fired three ringer right here, there. Swung over here and got another good signal. I don't know if it's going to be a board or not, but it's coming up as a decent signal. You got a board? Here, let me see. I think I got one right here as well. There it is, guys. Look at that. Three ringer definitely nice nice fired one too that's gonna be nice i wonder what the base is gonna have in it sweet good job man Thanks, man. that's what i'm talking about all right guys stick with us all right decent signal here so we're gonna dig this together and see what it is temperatures already going up really high i think it's already probably like 90 degrees out here humid There it is, guys. You see it? Right there. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful drop three ringer. We'll take it. An American Civil War. Stick with us, guys. Check it out. Um, Chris and I have been hitting a ravine uh, and the little hillside behind us and finding a bunch of uh, Civil War bullets. But pulled this out. I thought, if you look at it, Camp Lead, right? I was like, ah, it's Camp Lead. And I look closely, it's actually a horse. It looks like a horse maybe carved out of Camp Lead. I don't know. We're going to have to clean that up. But you can see the horse figure there and the guy on the top. I have no idea if this was actually carved out of Camp Lead. Or if this was uh, uh, made this way, I, I don't know. But it's definitely lead. But if that's carved out of camp lead, that is a really cool find. All right, stick with us, guys. Guys, hitting this ridge line behind me, and I just pulled out something really cool I want to show you guys. And uh, I don't know if you can see it right there. Coming closer. That's a pocket knife. I just found a Civil War bullet to my right. I don't know if this Civil War period, oh, dang it, it's breaking apart, but definitely. Oh, it's got a design on it. Man, that's got a really cool design on it. I have no idea the age on this thing, but it's definitely old looking. Been in here for a while. Oh, it's got a shield right there. Old pocket knife. Stick with us, guys. We'll take it. Let's check this out. Chris just called me over. Look what he's pulled up right here. Out of that hole. It is going to be a partial lock plate. Um, have no idea of the period on it, but we're definitely going to have to do the research on it. But it's definitely a lock plate. You can see the hammer right there. Sweet. And... Uh, He's found the other part to the back side of the lock plate in the same hole. So we're getting more signals around this area. So we're going to dig it up and see what else we come up with. It's a nice find. <laughs> All right, Chris has uh, picked up another signal over here. And this is, uh, we're following up with this lock plate that he found. And look at this, guys. Trigger guard. Definitely trigger guard. 
for the firearm. Look at that. So stick with us, guys. We're gonna see what else we come up guys, with. Got a decent signal here. A lot of rocks and roots, so we're gonna try to get this out together. The cicadas are loud. Last several bullets that uh, I've dug up have been shallow, so if this is a board, it's pretty shallow, I think. guys I'm gonna stop this video it's saying it's air under the ground totally missing it all right stick with me all right guys finally dug it out it was over here on this area I originally thought it was there but it is a fired looks to be a fired three ringer I'm on the side of the hill and you can see where it's smacked down flat on the one side into the hill so nice all right, Chris and I are digging holes side by side. He's got something right there that he's digging up, but I just dug this up. Can you see it? You're gonna be like, no wonder that dude stabs some stuff. He's jumping on the shot. <laughs> Three ringer. Three ringer. Stick with us. Where are you? Something small, trash, you think? Yep. Look at that. Trash. <laughs> Man, it's getting hot, y'all. I want to say it's probably like 95 plus out here. Humidity. But it's worth it. Another three ringer pulled out. So, we'll, uh, I don't know where Chris is, but uh, he's been pulling up some bullets as well. All right. We'll have a, uh, a list of things that we found at the end. Stick with us. All right, I have no doubt I'm going to be pulling some ticks off me today and and uh, most likely I'm going to have poison ivy, but because we are in tall grass, digging bullets and Civil War relics. Got a signal here. We're going to see what it is. Looks like it's gonna be junk. What in the heck is that doing out here in the middle of the nowhere? Looks like it's a toy plane or a jet or something. <laughs> All right, stick with us. Another one smacked into the hillside. Sweet. That's what I'm talking about. Things mushroomed out nice. Three ringer fired. All right, guys. I have no doubt in my mind I'm going to have ticks, poison ivy, and who knows what else from being in uh, this wooded area and this tall grass. Got another really good signal. You can hear the roots, so it's going to be a tough one. Just bear with me on it. Let's see what we can find. there what is it I think I saw it I did we popped it out of the hole do you guys see it right there look at that beautiful three ringer 
Gonna have to clean that one up. Nice. Yeah, I'm definitely getting poison ivy and ticks. But it's worth it. <laughs> All right, guys, stick with us. Look at this ring, this silver ring he just pulled out of here. And I don't know if this is gonna focus in or give it any justice, but I'm gonna try to get into better lighting. But it has an eagle on it with the shield. <laughs> and it was right down in this little hole, right? Yep, just pulled it out with my finger. Oh my gosh, guys. Yeah, man. That's it's what awesome. I'm talking about. Silver ring. God, I don't know if you guys can see it on this. I'm trying to zoom in so they can see it better. Here, I'll clean it off a little bit. Yeah, clean it off here. Hold that thing. Oh my God. I love the front of it. Nice spot. Finding some nice stuff. Stick with us. All right, still in the weeds, digging. On a good signal right here, guys. We're going to do this together. I've already cut it around, but I'm going to go a little bit more. Like I said, if I uh, don't have several ticks on me by now, I'm, I'd be shocked. guys you see it right there I love that look there it is damn pinpointer do it together love that imprint gotta love that imprint sweet 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 American Civil War, three ringer. All right guys, this was a really uh, long day, hot day. Chris was nice enough to let me come out here on his permission and uh, find some Civil War relics. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we found. Between the two of us, we uh, cleaned up on some bullets and some other things. So here we go guys. This is gonna be my finds. We're gonna have, uh, I don't know, it's gonna be like 37 bullets is what I found total. 37 some of them are dropped some of them are fired most of them are three ringers some 54 calibers but some really cool mushroomed ones out um i did find one williams cleaner and then this one i have no clue what it is it you know it's really thin i thought maybe a whitworth i just i have no idea so i'm gonna have to look into that one but it's definitely a lot smaller uh, i thought maybe green bullet but i don't know and then uh, this horse soldier thought it was camp lead that maybe was carved into a, um, um, you know, a soldier uh, on a horse. I have no idea. And then uh, pocket knife, got a pocket knife, silver spoon. Uh, it's got some uh, lettering on the bottom here. I'm gonna check it out. And this is gonna be Chris's finds. He's got a bunch of three ring ringers as well, 54 calibers as well. And then um, this nice, uh, squished out one he found a sterling silver horse which is really cool um also a poker chip looks to be like a smushed out um bullet for a poker chip this really cool ring we got excited or i got excited at first because i saw the gs and the eagle i thought maybe it stood for general service but um i was wrong girl scout but still, it's a vintage Girl Scout uh, ring, silver ring. It was a lot of fun, but it was super hot. Guys, do me a favor. I'm JP with Mason Dixon Diggers, and Chris was nice enough to let me come out here on his permission. Like Mason Dixon Diggers on Facebook, but also check us out on our YouTube channel. Till next time, guys, take it easy and God bless.